The SR500 is a battery-powered fan unit that, together with filters and head top, is included in the Sunstrom fan-assisted respiratory protective device systems. Assembly On delivery, the battery fitted in the fan unit is provided with protective tape over the terminals. Remove the battery and remove the tape. Charge the battery. The charger carries out charging automatically in three stages. One, orange. Two, yellow. Three, green. Push the battery back into the battery compartment. Check that the battery has been pushed in as far as it will go and that its lock is operative. Assemble the belt on the fan unit. Filters. The choice of filters combined filters depends on factors such as the type and concentration of pollutants. The fan unit may be used with only particle filters or with a combination of particle filters and gas filters. The filters must be of the same type, for example 2P3R or 2A2P3R, etc. The particle filter must always be used, either separately or in combination with a gas filter. Two filters or combined filters of the same type and class must always be used at the same time. Check that the gaskets in the filter mounting of the fan unit are in place and are in good condition. Particle filter SR510. Snap the particle filter onto the filter adapter. Do not press onto the center of the filter. It might damage the filter paper. Screw the adapter into the filter mounting so far that the adapter will be in contact with the gasket. Then turn it about one eighth turn further in order to ensure a good seal. Fit one pre-filter into the pre-filter holder. Press the pre-filter holder onto the particle filter. Combined filters. Snap the particle filter onto the gas filter. The arrows on the particle filter must point towards the gas filter. Do not press onto the center of the filter. It might damage the filter paper. Screw the combined filter into the filter mounting until it is in contact with the gasket. Then turn it about one eighth turn further to ensure a good seal. Fit a pre-filter into the pre-filter holder. Press the pre-filter holder onto the combined filter. Head tops. The breathing hose is not included with the fan unit, but is supplied with the relevant head top. Mount the breathing hose in the fan unit and read carefully the user instructions accompanying the head top. Operation performance. Start switch off. Start the fan unit by pressing the control button once. The symbols on the display will light up, the sound signal will sound, and the vibrator will vibrate. The battery symbol on the display indicates the battery capacity. The fan unit starts in normal operating status, 175 liters per minute. The switch between normal and boosted operating status, 240 liters per minute with the control button. To switch off the fan unit, keep the control button depressed for about two seconds. Display symbols. Battery. Indicate the battery capacity at start and when the battery capacity is low. Small fan. Lights up with a green light during normal operation. Bigger fan. Lights up with a green light during boosted operation. Warning triangle. Lights up with a red light if the airflow is obstructed or if the filters are clogged. Warning system alarm signals. In the event of airflow obstructions, a pulsating sound signal will be heard. 
the built-in vibrator will be activated, the red warning triangle of the display will flash. Action! Immediately interrupt the work, leave the area and inspect the equipment. If the particle filters are clogged, a continuous sound signal will be heard for 5 seconds. The built-in vibrator will be activated for 5 seconds. The red warning triangle in the display will flash. Action! Immediately interrupt the work, leave the area and change the filter. If the battery capacity is lower than 5%, a sound signal will be repeated twice at intervals of 2 seconds. The built-in vibrator will be activated twice at intervals of 2 seconds. The battery symbol of the display will flash red. Action! Immediately interrupt the work, leave the area and change charge the battery. Performance check. The performance check should be checked on every occasion before the fan is used. Check of the minimum flow. Check that the fan unit is complete, correctly mounted, thoroughly cleaned and undamaged. Start the fan unit. Place the head top in the flow meter. Grip the lower part of the bag to seal around the breathing hose. Grip the flow meter tube with the other hand so that the tube points vertically upwards from the bag. Read the position of the ball in the tube. This should hover at a level with or slightly above the upper marking of the tube, 175 liters per minute. Checking the alarms. The equipment is designed to provide a warning if the airflow is obstructed. Provoke an airflow stoppage by gripping by shutting off the flow meter outlet. The fan unit should then initiate alarms by sound, light signals and vibrations. Putting the equipment on. Take the fan unit on and adjust the belt so that the fan unit is firmly and comfortably secured at the back of your waist. Start the fan unit. Put the head top on. Make sure that the breathing hose runs along your back and is not twisted. Taking the equipment off. Leave the polluted area before taking the equipment off. Take off the head top. Switch off the fan unit. Release the belt and remove the fan unit. After use, the equipment must be cleaned and inspected. Disconnect the breathing hose and the filters and install the plugs. The plug kit is used for cleaning or decontamination of the fan unit and prevents dirt and water from entering the fan housing.